saluting the Marines today. I love them. I love the Army. I love the Navy. I love the Air Force. But I love the Marines. And by golly, they're going to protect America if it's the last thing. But you know, it's their first thing. There we are. Of course, the Marines. The first Arthur. and foremost. Yes. <laughs> See me marching around my studio. Yeah. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah. If everybody would listen to that every day, they would, it would bring back their patriotism to the American flag and to the red, white, and blue. Oh, I'm telling you. You know what, you know what one does it for me? It's the stars and stripes forever. Oh, my God. God, yeah. that's the one that does it for me. I know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, w- I really, in the old days, they used to play that when the president would come out. And, you know, they play all this, you know. I-, I just wish they would continue to do that because I think that what's happening is the foul music they're playing, like the Rolling Stones every time the president comes out. You know, I mean, it's tearing down the wall that protects the patriotism of our nation. That is why people on the football teams are bending the knee because their chakras are squashed by the bad sounds of music. If they listen to the marine music every day, they would change because it it just makes you love your country. And I sound like I'm sermonizing. Sorry. It is Sunday morning. Yeah, but wait a minute. Yeah, which, <laughs> I'm, I'm just letting you roll on about this. But people need to know that there is a difference between the music of the Rolling Stones and a martial music like Sousa's Marches, like the Marine Hymns right. and these patriotic tunes. And and it is science. It's not just um, selection. So what you have with uh, music such as the Rolling Stones, you have what what's called a syncopated beat. And the syncopated beat goes contrary to your heart. And, it, and it, it's a perverted rock beat. I mean, it's a rock beat that's a perverted march beat. And then a march beat is a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So the emphasis is on the one and the three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yet a rock beat, um, like Rolling Stones, the emphasis is on the two. Um, sorry, I had it backwards. It's a one and three versus a two and four. And that makes a difference of driving your heart down. I mean, the, the beat of your heart down and the energies in your body down. So Gene's talking about something. It is scientifically known. I know one thing. What? I am grateful to the Marines. I am so grateful to the Marines, to the the Navy SEALs. I am so grateful to our military and the Army and the Navy and the Air Force. I am so grateful for these guys, you know, because if we didn't have these guys, we'd be in big doo-doo because of what's going on. <laughs> Somebody said that word to me the other day. Oh, brother. Um, okay. Should, because of what's going on in America's chart right now. And I just want to send my love out to the military. All of you. You know, I have some actually military uh, clients and I love doing their charts. You know, I, I really do. They're just, they're amazing. They're angels. They're embodied angels. Yeah, I have you know, one. I think they specifically come with the mission to protect freedom. I think before they got here, that's what they signed up for. Even before they signed up for the actual military that itself. Wow. <laughs> you, okay. you know, I was listening. I, what was that movie I saw the other night of the story about the guy who shot, um, you know, he was this, he, oh gosh, he was like a s- shooter okay. for the. Oh, it's the sniper? Of, one, Are you talking about the, the movie? Yeah, the sniper. Okay. But not, I, I mean, it was the movie about American, the guy who, you know. American sniper? The, yeah. Okay. And, uh, oh my gosh, it so inspired me. Yeah, it did. You it know, was, I'm, <clears throat> okay. uh, it, the trauma, the trauma that he had to endure after it was all over, the fact that he could stand up and be the hero when he needed to be and then recover he literally, I mean, the recovery was just as hard as actually being the hero. Right. You know, the trauma, the drama. And it's so sad the way that story ended. But God bless him and God bless our military. Wow. I'm so glad that our president puts a little focus on that, you know. 
Get, get pumped about our military. I, I think I, it's Veterans wait, Day, gee, like gee, tomorrow or something. I can't get a word in edgewise. So yes, I'm I'm pumped. Well, about just it. go ahead and start talking. <laughs> okay. Start talking. That's, fine. That's the way you get a word in edgewise. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm pumped about the military. Always was, and and I know that I served in my last lifetime in the military. So. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I know that for a fact. I've I've had remembrances of that. So yeah, it definitely takes a warrior spirit for sure to to be able to do that for a cause. The problem is, is the causes are not being touted correctly. You know, I I agree. Well, I mean, they're brought to you by the warmongers and the war machine, and they're the evil forces that make our the fact that we have to have soldiers to protect us because that evil it's vicious. You know, it goes it goes back to the situation that we have talked about many, many times that about the military industrial complex, also known as the international capitalist communist conspiracy. You have um, the war machine and they're fighting and they're buying and selling of arms. And I mean, we're talking about a huge, 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 huge amounts of money all over the world. They fast. Prof- what was that? Fast and Furious, the gun thing. Uh, no, Fast and Furious is a movie. It was <laughs> no, 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 no. There you're was some the sort gun, of you're talking about the gun trade that, that yeah, was happening. There was a name for it that was similar. Oh, the guns and what the the, the, uh, the switching for the for the drugs and the guns. I mean, that went. All you know, the, the Holden Holden guy, the Holden guy, and that whole thing that he yeah he literally had to quit his job because he was giving guns to the cartels and everybody else who are really terrorists in disguise. Yeah, exactly. The cartels... Terrorists that get paid by America and our government, I think, according to the conspiracy people. Yes. We can go into that. I mean, actually, um, Air America, you know, it's always been a, a swap drugs for guns. It's always been that way. Jeez. So if you, go, if you go back and you look at some of the history behind the scenes at Vietnam, um, the Vietnam is the place of the Golden Triangle, so the drugs were there. So the drugs are used for clandestine operations because that's a source of funding that's not under congressional scrutiny. And it's been that way for a long period of time. Same thing with Afghanistan. And I, I know of people who know people directly, so this is not quite firsthand, but firsthand witness that have seen you know, the military guys are just protecting poppy fields. So, you know, read between the lines, do your homework, see what's going on. So that's how our military Well, they're just doing what they're told here. to do. Oh, exactly. Yeah, just, exactly. You know. So we're back, we're back to the uncovering and draining the swamp and everything else that we can, we can use, you know, the hearts and the minds and the love and the, and the desire of American patriots serving in the military to really protect the freedoms and everything that we need to and not the desires of large corporate cartels. So... Um, yeah, this is uh, important stuff. <laughs> I didn't think we were going See, in that I... direction today, but that's okay. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to start out with the military songs is because we're going to need the military because the foreigners are coming over to our land, the progressed moon in Sagittarius, in the fourth house of home here in America. It has me very concerned. That's why I wanted to do America's chart today. And start out first with a salute to the military because basically the military is going to be called up to protect us and we really need the protection. I'm really glad to hear that we're putting funds into the military. Do you know anything about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> there are some things that have uh, that are not quite up in the forefront of the media, obviously, because the media has been more... Uh, you know, intent on taking down the president, but he's done a lot of stuff behind the scenes to get money funneled through to the military. He's taken the gloves off over in, uh, you know, where they're fighting with ISIS. None of that's in the actual press. You're not hearing about any of that. But so Trump has done a lot to empower the military again. And for many years, they have been basically... I don't know, one hand tied behind the military's back. And it's been keeping them from actually doing what they're really supposed to be doing instead of, like I said, protecting, you know, these large corporations and their uh, hidden agendas. So, so the military is ramping up. And I can tell you that for a fact. They are definitely ramping up. We're starting to show a show of force over in Korea, uh, over in that area. You know, we've got a couple bombers that have been flying around over there. There have been military exercises over there. And uh, money's coming up. I Yay. saw some evidence of 
the all the armed forces are trying to call back. Um, uh, they have a shortage of trained pilots, so they're starting to call them back, and uh, those that have either retired or whatever for you know training. So f- it's going to change. I think the role of the military is finally coming back to where it needs to be. To tell you the truth, I think we're starting to see that. Well, well. Can I ask you about the timing of that? I mean, you're talking about the progression. Yeah. What, what's the timing for this? Then? I'm going to get deep into it here for a second. Okay. If you can whistle the military tune while I'm talking about all of this. <laughs> because, you know, first of all, we're not looking at our enemies clearly because we have Neptune in the seventh house of America's chart, which means that we've got goggles on hoping to see roses instead of, you know, ugly faces. So we're being too nice as a uh, diplomatic side. The front that we're but putting also, out is too nice? Yeah. And, but on the other hand, like you said, there's a lot of stuff that they're not talking about. They're just going ahead and doing in the realm of the military um, to to keep our strategy powerful because if they told the media if they told everybody what was going on we would not be able to have that strategic edge and so neptune in the seventh house can give us that strategic edge that will be from october 20th through december 24th when we have a lot of crazy stuff going on especially because Another aspect is happening at the same time between November 5th and February 27th, 2018, November 5th, 2017, until February 27th. And that is Uranus conjunct Mercury. The sudden, you know, explosion, sudden fight, sudden, I I do believe the orb of influence has already occurred under the Las Vegas shooting. As a matter of fact, Uranus went retrograde and... uh, That was kind of like what you can expect to see, only I believe there is a foreign element behind it because the progressed moon is in Sagittarius, and Sagittarius rules foreigners, and it's in our fourth house, so it's happening on our Our property, you might say. Yeah, hold on. Stop stop right there. Hold the thought. Um, There is evidence, and there's been a lot of talk from people that I've even known that have been in Las Vegas that everybody who is in that area knows that it is not what happened, that the press is going on. And there has actually been links to ISIS. I've seen videos that have shown that there were multiple shooters. There was one over at the Bellagio. And so all that's being hidden. You're not seeing those kind of things. But go out there on the YouTube and check this out. This is not a single shooter busting out a couple windows, going bonkers. There's a lot that's hidden about this. And Gene is absolutely right. Apparently... Um, there's ties to ISIS in there. I've heard their name come up. I've heard the FBI's name come up. I've heard, you know, various other uh, organizations' names come up. So, yeah, I, that is absolutely on the mark. There is something hidden. So we need to pray for its exposure because this is very important so that we can get, you know, control back of what, what's happening. By we, I'm just saying the forces of light on the planet can get control back. Well, the problem is that we have a way of doing things. Here in America, we, we kind of take our home for granted. We, we take our security for granted because our moon is in cancer in the, we, this is our home, so we can't even imagine anybody, you know, intruding upon our home. However, there is a 30-month cycle here where the progressed moon's in Sagittarius, which means foreigners will intrude on our home. And who knows? I mean, I don't know about all that conspiracy stuff in Las Vegas, but I do... I, I don't even understand it. I mean, why in the world would they, even if there was four shooters, why would they go shoot all those people? I don't even get that. Unless it is what the astrology says, which is there's a foreign element. It's a terrorist yes. element that they're trying to keep hush-hush because they don't want panic in the American sector. Yes. And that's what people will do is panic. Yes. What you're, what you're saying about the astrology is exactly what is out playing. They believe that there is a foreign element behind this, and it was a terrorist shooting, and the FBI probably doesn't want this to be made known to everybody because it's scary stuff, the fact that these guys have shown up on our soil and are able to pull off something like this. <laughs> well, we let them in, the liberals. Hey, nothing yeah. against the liberals, but they let them in. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we exactly. told you this a while back. Yeah, you know and the what? astrology shows that 
I wish they would make decisions based on the cycles in the astrology so they can see, you know, what is the right. They can think better. If you know your cycles in life, you're going to do better. If you know, for instance, foreigners are going to smack you around if you let them in and you see that in the chart, you're going to not necessarily be so stupid, right? Right. Keep them from coming. That. But I, intuition is. I think the Democrats. That tr- that's the whole idea behind the wall. That's what Trump is attempting to do. Is to saying, look, you just can't walk freely, neely, you know, right into our country. You have to be vetted, and that's the whole idea of the vetting. It's not racism. It's just trying to say, do you belong here? Oh, by the way, were you kicked out of jail? What What was your background? What What happened? Why are you coming here? We don't want those kind of people in our country. I mean, you wouldn't want to invite them <laughs> as your next door neighbors, right? Well, the guy next door has been, you know, convicted of, uh, you know, shooting up a neighborhood somewhere over in Syria or somewhere over in the Middle East. Well, you would want to know that, wouldn't you? And you would probably want to yeah. stop that from happening. Well, there's the problem. So what what happens is is the problem. The forces of darkness know that if they open up the doors and allow these kind of people to come in, there's nothing we can do about it. So what do they do it? They do it under the guise of humanitarian aid. Everybody's welcome here. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. You just let them in. Give everybody a flower yeah. and walk it along nicely. No, the guy over – evil exists, folks, right? So it's not real, but it still exists and it has a charge to it. That's the whole idea behind the wall. That's what Trump is attempting to do is to vet I like the, the way people. you say that. Yeah. I like – I like the way you say there's a chart and evil has a charge behind it. That's how, how you can tell it's evil. Right. It's just the wrong kind of charge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a perversion of the, you know, we were talking about this in the last show, rocket fuel. You know, it's just a perversion of the sacred fire. And it's, and it's been twisted and it's, and it's used in a bad way. There, hence the evil. So, you know, there's guys that are saying, well, I want to go ahead and, and, you know, tear down America or whatever the case is. God forbid. So this is what's happening. Now we've had a government that's been clandestine. Ah, I, I said it right. We were talking the last show. We were trying to we were trying to figure out how to actually pronounce the word clandestine. So clandestine operations are actually been occurring in this country for so long that they don't know how to operate except under that kind of guise. Oh, don't say anything about it. So so if the FBI or the CIA or the, the federal agencies were to reveal the fact that we have some rogue elements running around all over the place. Boom. There goes the agenda of allowing, you know, sanctuary cities to go on. There goes the agenda for uncovering this guys that are out there. You can see how it happens. Everybody, you got to see it. And and the press is just the, uh, I don't know, what would you say? The communications tool. face of the that. Tool. Yeah, the tool. So that's what's going on. Gene, you nailed it. And, and, it, and I can tell you that for a fact and, you know, we talk about conspiracy stuff, and I guess everybody who's listened to the show know that I, I try to do my homework on this because I'm interested in uncovering the thing so that we can direct our spiritual prayers and energy into those areas. And, um, yeah, she's got it. She's nailed it. And we need well, I to tell make- you, it started yep. like Mount Hood. I believe that was a terrorist act. No ands, ifs, or buts about it. But, what, boy, you, how did Obama downplay that? Oh, you're talking about the one I, up in, um, up in uh, oh, excuse, Connecticut, Texas. Right? Oh, Texas? No, the one in Texas. Oh, the, Mount, who, the guy. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. The guy that came in and killed all those soldiers. The oh, soldier absolutely. that killed all those soldiers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the I guy. mean, it's bizarre that we would let anybody into the military that has extreme views. And I think that they should, I hope that they are. I assume that they are starting the vetting of, okay, who exactly are you and why do you want to be in our military if you are from a foreign country? Even if you've got your con- credentials and that says you're American or you've got a green card or what, whatever that is, I think there should be a huge, huge looking into who that person really is so that this these things don't happen again. Right. They keep okay. happening. Okay, and then, what, and, and then what's happening is, is that's what Trump has been attempting to do. And this mm-hmm. is what the vetting of... You know, the influx of refugees from the Muslim countries, that's what he's attempting to do. So everybody's saying, oh, it's racist. You're not allowing Muslims to come into the country. Come on, wake up. You want to find out whether or not there's a gun, you know, hidden somewhere. In the, <laughs> and I'm talking about a gun that's that's being mispurposely used because I'm trust right. me, I'm a Second Amendment rights advocate and, and always have been. But, you know, you want to find well, out. I got to tell you what I just I just bought a, 
I just got my a lady's Glock. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh! Is it a, a nine millimeter? Yeah, it's a nine millimeter, but it feels so good in my hand. It's like because I have tiny hands, I have to. It takes a whole lot of effort for me to, you know, pull back that clip yeah. properly. And I could work with this gun. This gun works. So I went out to the shooting range, and oh my gosh, fun! I love it. Fun. Oh yeah, fun gun. Yeah. Now I got my seven. My I got my seven shooter, and now I got my Glock, and that's all I need. I feel safe. Those bears aren't going to bother me anymore. It, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trek Upward Radio Show. I'm Arthur Thumb with my co-host Annie Oakley over here. <laughs> yeah, but she had a rifle, and I don't have a rifle. Well, you come from good stock, there, lady. I'll tell you. No, I and let me say this since you brought it up. I, I I highly recommend even those that aren't sure about this to go out to a range to a certified you know, a uh, firearms instructor, go out there, learn how to use it, or even just try it. And if you have such an aversion to it, just do it, and you will understand why we need them. And, and um, you, will, you will see this. You will find that, look through history, you will find every single time there has been an issue with the rise of a government that has taken power over a group of people, the first things that they go after are the guns in the hands of the public. And so you have to understand that there is a motive behind that. So if you see a country that is going after the guns of the population and you want to know why, they will always use the excuse that it's for the safety of the country. But take that as the first warning that something's happening. This even happened during the American Revolution. I don't know if everybody realized it or not, but Lexington and Concord, where the first shots supposedly were fired, you know, for the start of the uh, American Revolution. Gene, do you know why the British were marching to Lexington and Concord from Boston? Uh, uh, they were going the after the muskets and the guns that were stored at Lexington and Concord by a militia group that had come together. That's what started the American Revolution. Go check your history. And so they don't say that. They just say, well, the British just came in here and started taking over. No, they were going after the guns. And so the farmers and all the people there that knew how to shoot, you know, they said enough is enough. They've crossed the line. And that's what started, you know, the American Revolutionary War in the physical. But they were going after the guns. That's what the British were marching to Lexington and Concord for. Did you know Well, that? you know, fear is the root of every psychological <laughs> <That's> problem. <right. laughs> Fear is the root, so we all have to overcome our fear and defend our nation. This is the United States of America. In God we trust, and we are one. And I say that with all the patriotism that I can summon in my heart, because these are serious times. I'm looking at this America's chart, and, you know, last year I may have made predictions that, no, nah, I don't think we're going to go to war. But people have free will choice, and the choices that some of the government is making – from other governments, I can't control. And so these nations like North Korea and uh, the terrorists, of course, very much, they are a force to be reckoned with. And they don't even know the fire that is actually got a little teeny lid on it right now in America, that when that lid comes off and the fire of God in the people of America comes forward, they're not going to know what hit them. They should not be messing with America. We got the Marines, and we got the people. We got the Navy. We got the Air Force. We got the Army. And we've got the people, the people with the Patriot. Yeah, the people know. that are carrying the flame of freedom and the defense of that freedom, the light bearers in this right. country that are defending freedom. And, and we know If it put, yeah, push, what, push comes to shove, you know, look out. I, I want to put this out there because we know that the Ascended Master, St. Germain, sponsored America. We also know that the Ascended Master, St. Germain, brought America into the, you know, found it and moved in that direction so that there would be a place where we could sit and we could all have our path of individual Christhood, Buddhahood, Krishnahood, whatever it was, our direct connection with our Godhood to make that that we needed a place where freedom of religion was foremost. And we also needed a place where the where the sacred freedoms were enshrined, and that's freedom to gather, you know, freedom freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and those freedoms have to be enshrined someplace. 
Well, St. Germain knew this, and his mission uh, was, when he was embodiment, was to find that place. And so we know he was He was embodied. Christopher Columbus. Exactly. He discovered America. So he found And what's that really area. sad is that, listen to this, it was so sad was what was on the news last week. Um, you know, they're trying to pull down Christopher Columbus statues. Right. You know, this is how evil works. They want to put out the light, the truth. Okay. You know? So what they do is they create a scenario, again, that's wrapped around the, the concept of racism or wrapped around slavery, and then they go ahead and tear down the icons and and what it was that America is supposed to be for, and people are being used as pawns without even realizing that what they're doing is just tearing the fabric down and what this country was created for. And that's how the forces of darkness do it. They do it over a long period of time. So the infiltration of the liberal consciousness by the forces of darkness are to take out freedom. And so you have individuals that are willing to put their money up to support this, like Soros and these other individuals, who, by his own admission, is anti-freedom, and they're trying to take this down. Hence, it's even in our best interest to protect our own homeland and protect what it is that we're given. So one last comment. The, the, everybody who is here, who is supposed to be here, has earned the right in past lifetimes and this lifetime to be here. So those that are in America, in America, and so those that are opening the doors to allow people here, they haven't been given that right to be here karmically. So what's happening is, is there's this influx of people that don't have any, you know, any any reason to be there. There's people that are rushing the gates that have a sense of entitlement saying, well, we deserve it. We're not going to fight for it instead of fighting for freedom in their own countries. They're turning around and trying to say, I deserve to have the work or whatever is going on. So, so there's a karmic situation. Here situa- in America. Exactly. Yeah. So there's a karmic situation going on. And the fact that we've allowed these doors to be open means that we're going to become karmically responsible for protecting yeah, the freedoms that we've been given. So um, go out there and you know, protect yourself. Protect yourself spiritually. Even if you decide you're not going to pick up a gun or even if you don't want to do that, learn how to pray learn how to put the word out there and learn how to defend us spiritually and and well um, yeah prayer is the greatest ammunition you have there you go it's powerful there you go oh, especially boy. when it's sincere and full of love see you, la, 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 you la. got me fired up now gene i'm telling you <laughs> well yeah that's what i wanted to do because you know i'm looking at america's chart and i'm like Oh, my God, America, wake up. I know some of us are really awake, but some of us need to wake up because we've been lulled to sleep by the hypnotic spell of the media and the lies. you got to discern spirits. Look behind the cause. I mean, look behind the effect. What was the cause? There are more, and I'm not a conspiracy person, I swear. I'm just, this is practical. Be practical. Look deeper. And then defend America, right. whatever way you can. Exactly. So, I mean, just just even start on YouTube, go out there. Why did that woman run around in Las Vegas warning everybody 45 minutes before a shooting that people were all going to die? Why was she a Latino? What was going on? Just ask these questions. Why are there videos out there showing and hearing, and you can hear them yourself, that there were additional shots going on at the Bellagio? You have to ask yourself what's going on. Just ask why. And, and you know, ask God, what is really going on? Because this is what we Ooh, need to do. What? It's freaky. I was oh, in totally. Las Vegas about six months ago. I No, three months ago. I drove through there, went to L.A. We just took a road trip. And, I, you know, I got the creepiest feeling when I was going through Las Vegas. I got the creepiest feeling. I don't know what it was, but, um, wow. <laughs> you know, I think when you allow your... Your choices in life to become so decadent, you become vulnerable to bad things happening. When you make really good choices and you're honorable and you're, you know, these things don't happen to you. So you look at some of the things that go on in Vegas, nothing against Vegas, but, you know, um, they're not necessarily playing by the full deck of well, they got the deck of cards, but it might not be a full deck. <laughs> well, you know, it's it, it, it's like it's like the story of you know you have a house party with a lot of people that are out 
partying around and they're enjoying themselves and having fun. In the meantime, your house is being broken into and stuff's being stolen. You know, yeah, it's, exactly. It, it, it's what's going on. People are not paying attention to the right thing. And, and so if you pay attention to what's going on with, with an eye towards vigilance, and that's one thing that I have got to tell my beloved brethren in Texas, thank you for holding the flame of freedom. And, and many people down in Texas are, are like that. They just, you know, they're all about barbecues, you know, whatever it is that they do, and guns. You know, they're, they're protecting America. And, and there was oh, what this, about Montana? And Montana. What about guns up here? And you don't mess with Montanans. And Wyoming. And the, the people that, that know that it's important to be able to protect your homeland. So you, mm. you have to recognize um, that, that that's important. The, the other thing that I wanted, wanted to talk about here is let me recap this because I want to make sure that I understand this. You've talked about these overlapping cycles. So if I remember correctly, the overlapping cycle you're talking about is between November and the end of December. Is that correct of these two, where these two cycles are overlapping? You said one was a longer cycle that went into uh, next year, and then one starts now, and then there were two overlapping Well, we're in one now. Days. Okay. The Pluto opposed moon is what we're in until November 22nd. That is now. Now, Pluto, of course, rules blood, guts, and gore. And it's in the fifth house, which is it happened in an entertainment environment. So the fifth house rules fun. It rules parties. It rules, you know, that kind of thing. So here we have Pluto opposing moon. The moon is in cancer, but it's also in a social house, the 11th house of community. So Pluto opposes moon is what I think the biggest thing happened on. And then we have uh, Neptune sextile the sun, which means we've got the opportunity to see things as they really are or not not look at the secret behind the blatant, if you know what I mean. Then we have Uranus conjunct Mercury, you know, which is the news of the violence, but also is the explosion November 5th through February 27th. That one I am very, very concerned on because that goes exact um well, you know, it's it's already hit once, and that again, it was alive when Las Vegas happened. Went retrograde. It's retrograde now, conjuncting Mercury now as we speak. November fifth, it gains momentum. December seventh goes exact. Now, I think November fourth, there's a big riot thing going on with that. At uh, what is that called? The Altia. What are they called? There's a group of they're fascist. They're they're anti everything. And they're just causing trouble. I don't really know what their story is, but because uh, I haven't haven't had time to do the research on it. But they're gonna all come together November fourth in March, and I we've been doing some prayer work to stop any violence that leads. You know, I think that that was a group that was created by George Soros, but nonetheless, Uranus conjunct Mercury can bring a sudden violence that you just didn't see coming. And it's like, oh, my God. So people, don't go to big crowds right now. Stay away from huge, you know, gatherings of people. I don't care whether it's in the mall or if it's at a country rock thing or if it's, you know, whatever. And I'm not saying this for fear. I'm saying this to be smart. You don't need to go to these group things. You can just turn on your radio and listen to it there. For a cycle, until we get control of this, until, you know, because the astrology is very dangerous. It's dangerous. It's not just this and that bad person in our government. It's things that we can't see. It's sudden and it's deadly. And that is if we make these wrong free will choices. Now, if we take the high side of this, oh, my God. What you will see at the same time is amazing technology coming down the pipeline and including in our economy of America, but also being, like we said in the last show, being aware of the need to invest and cover your bases just in case we get a crash to the economy, which I believe we will at some level. It'll affect you know, groups of people or classes of people. So if you're smart, you'll have your gold and your silver and your, and I think there's something to crypto Digital money. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the coolest thing right now. It makes sense because the millennials may have been the ones who came up with this in a way, you know, and they're progressive, even though they're different. And we, we, they sort of don't understand us baby boomers. 
but <laughs> you know they're, they're, they got some some gifts hugely so this digital currency might be the answer for well here's, you know um here's the thing that you have to understand though we you know to we have to there, there is an issue with this, but I wouldn't say that that's the solution, the divine solution to the economy. The divine solution to the economy. No, it's is, the start yeah, it's, of, you know, like creating amazing technology. What I'm saying is that Uranus conjunct Mercury can bring new innovative ideas that just tra- change everything suddenly. Well, I want to add this. So, I want to say this. The, the cryptocurrencies do not carry, they don't carry light per se. From a, as a physical device, like uh, like a piece of gold. Oh, yes, they do. Saint Germain developed technology. Comes through technology. No, I disagree with that. I, you still need the physical gold in your hands, and and the gold and the silver. I think you should have both. I think you should have both. No, I you agree. know, a little I, bit. I think I think the cryptocurrency is a way to get to the point, but it still comes down to circulating the light of God in the currency. And that's done through. Well, I know the people that have made a lot of money on crypto right now. Well, I, <laughs> I, know, I know a lot, a lot of people, people that made a lot of money on. You know, we we know that they've made a lot of money on running drugs. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's absolutely perfectly. Oh right. my God, you cannot compare that to drugs. No, no, Gene, Gene, I'm not putting that down. What you have to understand is I'm saying that the light of God is infused in the physical gold. And one of the medium right. of exchange I, I know, is, is I know. to change from hand to hand to hand, that physical medium, because it affects the actual four lower bodies and the individual who holds it. So, Well, I'm well, not even talking about that. I'm just saying get some silver, get some gold, and get some crypto. Right. You'll, what I'm trying you'll to say be is glad. Make sure if you get the crypto, convert it back into gold. Make sure that you have the physical gold, because that's what will magnetize the light of God into your world. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you can get your profits off the crypto right. and buy gold and if buy you want. Gold. That's So, yeah, I, all I'm saying is, is, you know. But then you can't carry gold around. This is the reason why these types of uh, um, things have been developed because you get, you know, 5,000 gold coins. That's like, you know, 50,000 pounds and you can't carry that around. So, like in the old days, the Knights of Templar were developed to, to take that gold and put it in a bank. Um and before that, they used the stick method to show somebody's value, how much value they had. You know, they'd break the stick, and if your stick matched the other stick, it was it's kind of a cool thing. And a lot of the monks, the more the the Catholic monks, you know, develop develop these ideas of how to keep people from having to keep their money at home and be subject to robbery. You know, so I mean, there's so much history to money; it's fascinating. And I've been studying it a lot lately, just trying to figure the whole system out, where these systems come from, and so that I could understand crypto, crypto or digital money, and um, you know justify investing in it if that's what I choose to do. Not that I have a lot to invest in, but you know what? Go fund me. Have you ever heard of gold fund me? Go, <laughs> Go fund, fund me, and I'll invest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, so <laughs> uh, you know, with Gene, you you got to you got to balance this out, and you got to you know find the best way that you can you can do what you you can. I know some people personally that have made quite a bit of money off of cryptocurrencies. So um, yep. yes, and so I was saying, boy, if I had what they had gained in cryptocurrencies, that would immediately have been converted to gold for me. And and yeah, you know, it was immediately. Well, it's still years. going up though. Bitcoin. Well, just went out. It went up two thousand dollars this month alone. So what is it? What's it and just now? last yeah. week, in two days, yeah, it's at six thousand one hundred. Oh my God, you're kidding! I mean, that's no, I'm not kidding. So, and then lithium is at three hundred dollars um, now. So I mean, and Litecoin is another one. You know, it's very cheap to buy right now, but you watch it; it's just amazing to watch this happen. And it's really cool because you've got triple protection if you uh, invest in any of these currencies. You've got, I, I mean, I don't want to get so deep into it. We should do a whole show on cryptocurrency because yeah, it's should. fascinating. Right, right now, Bitcoin is showing 5985 for one Bitcoin. And it came down 20 bucks yeah. from yesterday. And then. What, you know, yeah, we'll have to do a whole show on this because you can trade in fractions and all that other kind of stuff. So you don't have to have all that money to be able to buy it, but... Um, I actually took a class in cryptocurrency. I, I actually took a, a a recommended course online and learned so much. I was amazed just because I wanted to understand it. It's worth taking the time to understand. Actually, less than 1% of the American people 
or the world know about cryptocurrency at this point. So it's such a good time to invest because once everybody figures it out, starts investing, you know, it's going to be harder to get it at a reasonable price once the masses find out. And here I am telling everybody because I want you to <laughs> succeed. I do. I want everyone. I mean, I, you know, I was paying my daughter's bills yesterday and I, <laughs> seriously, I was paying off her credit cards and I was like, as I was doing it, I was thinking, you know, I wish I could pay the bills for all the light bears. It felt so good to help her, you know, because she's really been struggling. But I mean, just, I, you know, if I could do this for everyone that struggles and the middle class really struggles. So here it is. Invest in crypto and then go buy gold. And you're going to be so happy you did, people. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, silence in radio. No, that's not silence. I'm looking at this thinking, okay, well, this, this sounds pretty good. I mean, we're on a roll right now. We might as well talk about it. So um, what we'll yeah. do is we'll we'll break this show up into segments and we'll, you know, I, let me, let, let's just Well, the thing here. is, is that, in a, yeah, in America's chart, Uranus is conjunct Mercury. So that's like, you know, technology and the money and the economy because Uranus is in the eighth house of America's chart. The eighth house rules blood, guts, and gore war but it also rules money where does our money come from what is our economy doing how can we make you know uh capital gain on what we're doing and i think that's why there's been so many so much emphasis on jobs and on trade uh in the government because uranus is conjuncting mercury but again the dark side of that is very volatile very it was like the sudden fires in california I tell you, those fires were terrorists started. I, I, I know it as God is my witness that there is a story behind those fires, and it's technical. And so some people have said that those fires were started by uh, some sort of ray that was, I don't know. No, no, no. I mean, no. I I, let me talk to you about that. I, I actually looked into that a little bit. Um, there is some stories that potentially, because of the destruction of the entire neighborhoods. If you look at some of those videos of the drones that have flown over some of the neighborhoods, they're absolutely wiped out. It's the same it's the same yeah. gray powder that you saw at nine eleven. It was it was basically total destruction. Really? Yes. If you take a look at the homes and I, I saw some very well put together videos where they show and there was some evidence of a scientific it was a scientific conclave someplace and they were showing this this evidence. And, and if you see a house that's burned, and, and you know, unfortunately I've seen enough homes that have burned down to know, you will see some kind of skeleton or charred remains, or you will see yeah. things like uh, refrigerators, or you might see something like a safe, yeah. or you might see things that will not right. burn and they will not melt because the temperature of a wood fire or even under a severe conditions of high winds uh, you know, like with with a storm, would not melt what you're doing. I saw evidence of aluminum wheels that were actually puddled, and it takes a huge, huge amount of temperature to reach the point where aluminum wheel covers on cars will melt. I'm not talking about distorted. I'm talking about pools of aluminum that ran off of the car, pulled, and you can actually see it. And if you take a look at the evidence, you don't see any skeleton or structure. Like if you see it like a barn that burns down or something, you will normally see some kind of wood spars that have been, or even if you look at a forest fire, you'll see trees that haven't been thoroughly burned all the way through, and you'll see their sticks remaining, or you'll see some other kind of components. Like I said, anything that's very, very, you know, like uh, high temperature metals, they won't melt. Or, or anything that is ceramic. They may crack uh, or discolor, but you won't see them actually melt. Uh, everything was dust. Everything UFOs. was dust. No, they think it's particle. Yeah, I think UFOs, particle. something. No, 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 no. I'm saying whoever did this. Yeah. I think it was bigger than, than both of us. It's big. Really? It's dark. And, I mean, whether it's UFOs, I mean, that's kind of crazy saying, but... You know, they're developing technology, psychotronic energies, things like that from Russia or from China or from where, wherever. You know, I can guarantee, though, that, that there was foul play behind that fire in California. And it was sudden. Uranus c conjunct Mercury. It was swift. And it did the um, total damage to the body of that area. 
total damage. Oh, Uranus yeah. conjunct Mercury in the eighth house. The only thing it was standing. So I mean, it's in the astrology of weird stuff, you know. All right, how long are we going to be quiet for? Not very long because this is still activated November fifth through February twenty seventh. Look out, people! Hold on to your hats. You know, watch your backside and stay out of crowds. It's my recommendation. Wow. Maybe we should uh, end this show and then maybe do another one. So yeah, how about so the too. Marine Corps coming in? <laughs> how about the Marines coming in? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Hold on. Where's our music? Let's salute the Marines and the military. How about this one? We need protection. I salute you, Stars and Arthur. Forever. I salute America. <laughs> it was are. a fun show. Absolutely. Lots of information. If get your chart done and let's check you out. Gene Hart. Wait a minute. AstrologyGeneHart.com. 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 And what's the 406-599-3934. Very good. 406 599 Okay. <laughs> At prophecysgiven.com. Learn lessons on how you can actually turn this stuff around. Thanks, Gene. Thanks, Arthur. Bye. Bye. Let Gene do an astrology consultation for you, your family, or your friends. Go to astrologygeneheart.com or give her a call or text her at 1-406-599-3934. There are powerful spiritual tools available to help you deal with planetary and personal challenges, and these can be found at prophecyisgiven.com. And be sure to visit our website at the trekupwardradioshow.com or stop by on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash trekupward. And be sure to hit like on our page or visit YouTube and search for the Trek Upward Radio Show. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss another episode of the Trek Upward Radio Show. The Trek Upward Radio Show is a studio at 5600 feet production.